Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I really just started filming this randomly because we're actually doing some interesting things and not just working and eating. If you saw on my Instagram stories, we were sent this lovely package from Neostrata on their overnight anti-pollution treatment. And they were so kind enough to send us this planter, but unfortunately the planter was broken in the mail. A lot of bloggers had already showed on their stories that their planters were broken. So when we got ours, I was expecting it to be broken as well because I think that they just all kind of broke in transit but it was really funny because we literally glued it back together with a two dollar nail glue it's the glue that I shared on Instagram that I bought for two dollars for my nail lady because sometimes my nails will chip and then I just like quickly put the glue back on and just kind of hold it together until I see her again. So that glue is really strong and it's only $2 at least from my nail lady. I don't know how much other nail ladies sell their glue, but that's all we use to put it back. I'm not recommending that you do this because I don't know the longevity of it. Like so far, it seems fine, but we're gonna use it anyway because we have nothing to do and we want to plant something. They also sent us some soil and also this piece of paper. I don't know if you can see it, but there's also like little seeds. The things that pop up, those are the little seeds that can grow some wildflowers. So we're gonna put that in this planter as well and this is gonna be my very first plant inside my house because everything that I have so far is all dried the only thing that isn't dried is my three cacti that I got from Ikea and they're really small and very easy to maintain because I just take a spray bottle and I just spray it so I'm not really a plant lady and I don't know how to take care of plants so I'm very curious how long this is gonna last or if it's gonna survive because like I said I'm very bad at taking care of plants and stuff but anyway yeah so Lucas is gonna come and help and kind of figure this out with me and plant our first plant together apparently you're supposed to use some sort of sheer paper thing to cover the hole we don't have coffee filters because I have a Keurig or some other suggested ones online. So we're using this web thing that we got from the bag of shallots that we bought. <laughs> well, you said it worked. Uh, yes, and it does work. <laughs> I just think it's hilarious. Oh my God. <laughs> like I said, I have never planted anything in my life, but Lucas's mom is a crazy plant lady. She literally has like every plant possible. So this is him learning by observation <laughs> so we'll see um watch watch everyone in the comments go like that's not how you fucking plant stuff. i'm sure it's not but you know you gotta make do with what you have okay right? if this doesn't work out then i don't know it's we're just we're just very eager to plant something today because we have nothing to do this is not moving babe you're right see the nail glue oh guys God, yes. it's and so... it's all over my nails look Okay, so kind of to explain what we did in more detail is that we put the glue on obviously like the part that the break happens, so like we put it on this top part and then we glued it together, but we also put the glue sort of like on, on the, the inside. outside, the inside and the outside. Yeah. Can put it on the inside? Yeah. No, we didn't put it on the outside. Okay, just on the inside. Babe, let's do wow, it. Oh, it's actually stuck. Okay, so now what do we do? We pour it in. And then where do we add the it says it says basically one, you you pour in half no it says under one eighth inch. yeah so pour in half first okay oh and i like how i can reuse this mason jar don't hit the side it's gonna come off can i use my hand what what is this the thing i'm kidding you make it sound like it's poo or something is it no okay I've never seen somebody make such a big mess before. Okay, here, there, there. Is that one okay, eight? Okay, pour more. And then where do I plant this? S slide it underneath. Okay. There you go. Make sure it's flat, babe. There you go. Okay. Now what? 
I really shouldn't have drank the wine. I'm trying this whole intermittent fasting thing. Okay, so it's pretty much planted now and I'm just gonna leave it by the window and hopefully we will see things grow. Um, in the meat, in other news, Lucas got me this, what are these pots called, babe? Iron skillets. He got me an iron skillet um, because I've been watching a lot of tasty videos and I've just been very inspired, so I'm very excited to use that. Um, another package that I got is this one from Mineto. It's a Prosecco company and I'm having a collaboration with them coming up, so you might see it on Instagram, but I just got the package today and I'm very, very excited to show you guys because, well, I don't know if you guys know this, but I really love Prosecco. Does anyone else like playing with bubble wrap? It's so fun. I used to play with this as a kid so much and make sure that I get all the bubbles popped. This is what the Prosecco looks like. I've had it before and it's honestly amazing. I really, really like this Prosecco. Hello guys, happy long weekend. So today, it's not really a special day, but after last week and driving around with Lucas on his birthday, we sort of decided that we should make this a weekly thing and do something fun every single weekend and treat it like it's one of our birthdays or something. So today, we don't really have a plan, but I think we're gonna drive around again because I really don't, I don't know, I feel Every time I'm outside, I just feel like something's gonna get me, aka the virus. I'm a very big hypochondriac. So anyway, right now we are gonna go out if Lucas ever gets his ass up from the couch. What I usually do when times like these is I just start chanting and we're also gonna get bubble tea today. We want, we want bubble tea, bubble tea, bubble tea. <laughs> Look, it works. He's getting dressed. <laughs> Yay! We're gonna go get some bubble tea, obviously, because I need my fix. And yeah, we'll see where we're gonna drive around today. Babe, what was your idea? The beaches. Okay, yeah, the beaches and we'll see. We'll take you guys along. Also, I'm wearing these clips from, if you guys saw from my story, Innisfree sent me their new cherry blossom cream. And they also sent these really cute clips. It really reminds me of when I was five years old. I sometimes still feel like I'm five years old, but whatever, it's fine. I can now also look it. Okay, so while Lucas is inside um, getting some bubble tea, this time we are at, Cha no, sorry, not Cha Time. This time we are at Coco's and we're getting another favorite of ours. So actually I'll show you guys when it gets here. Oh. Hey, Where you're am I sitting? We have hand sanitizer in the car. This is the bubble tea that we always get from Coco's. The large one is passion fruit mango slush, 70% sugar with pearl. I put half sugar. I don't know why he's put 70. Yeah, actually, we usually get half. I don't know why it's just 70. But anyway, this is so good. And um, this is honestly a drink that is going to be popular with everyone. The fact that our Jewish friends really like this drink just kind of tells you that, you know, this is white people friendly. Um, so <laughs> shout out to Harrison and Jackie. And then this is just our regular milk tea that we like to get, which is roasted milk tea, 50% sugar, less ice. First sip. Ew, don't lick the top! Babe, it's coming, it's dripping on me. What do you want me to do? Lick it off. How, if I drink, it would have spilled on me. That's how bubble tea works. When it's on plastic and you do this, it drips down. Well, why are you drinking at an angle? For now on. That's good. I don't know why you drink like that. No, it's the, it was on an angle. No, it's fine. No, you, you just did an angle again. Yep. Yep, you did. Okay, here. Um, watch this. Go. See? Now, now you can't an angle. But why do you have to hold it so high? You can hold it down low. I'm holding it. Whatever. Babe, let's go. Okay, so we are now at... Where are we, babe? Woodbine Beach. 
Woodbine Beach and um, we just parked and we're going for a walk. Honestly, the plan was never to get out of the car, but you know what? I think it should be fine. I feel like everyone is really, really far apart from each other. So we're just gonna go for a walk because we've literally never gone for a walk before during this entire situation. Also guys, if you're looking for a nice neighborhood to live in, this neighborhood is so cute. Like look at this, so cute. They also have really nice cherry blossoms. Lovely. Babe, you wanna say hi? Hi. Okay, so I guess the beach was never really closed because I guess as long as you're keeping your distance, you're fine. There are signs everywhere and there's also police everywhere. I don't know if you can see them up ahead, but there are a lot of police and signs saying to keep your distance. I'm not gonna lie, some people here are clearly friends and not from the same household, so, and they're not six feet apart, but whatever. Who am I? I'm not the police. But this is kind of the outlook on the beach. Babe, this is your first time in four years to ever see what my nails really look like. How do you feel? I think they're cute. <laughs> they're short and stubby. <gasps> That's so mean. But I know cute. they're short and stubby. That's why I get my nails done. If you didn't know, I don't get my nails for the pleasure of getting them myself. It is really for the public because I have really stubby nails or hands and my nail beds are also really short. So I like to get them and elongate them so it makes my hands look longer. It's all about the illusion, you know? I feel like I already said this before in my how to stack my rings video, but yeah, if you did not watch that video, then obviously you would not know. Okay guys, I actually highly recommend coming because this is like actually a really good social distancing activity. Everyone is so far apart from each other and yeah, it's like such a great peaceful way to relax. I think next time we can bring our blanket, babe, and have a little picnic. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, that was like a good 10 minutes outside and now we have to leave because of my damn bladder. And I even peed right before we left, so oops. Every time. Hi guys, so it's currently 7.15 and we are on our way to go surprise Victoria because it's her birthday and we're gonna do like a drive through um, surprise. So we're meeting up at this elementary school first and then we're all gonna drive together to go in front of her house. It's kind of sad that it's rainy today, but it's fine. Um, I feel like it'll still be a really nice surprise. I was kind of like hoping I could come out and jump around and stuff, but I guess with this rain, I probably will not be able to do that. Also originally gonna make a sign that says like, honk if you want me to drink, but it's literally raining, so that really sucks. Anyway, I guess Victoria dodged a bullet there and she does not have to drink. Also, I wanted to say that today is um, the Canadian Victoria Day. So usually it's like on May 2 for a weekend, but I don't know why this year um, it's a little bit early. So this year is on May 18th, but it works out because Victoria's birthday is on Victoria Day. Like what are the chances? It kind of makes me wonder, which I probably should ask her later, but like did her parents name her Victoria because it landed on this holiday? Like, I don't know. This really worked out for her. The whole country is celebrating her birthday, so. Anyway, I'll um, start recording again once we get to the elementary school and then once we get to her house as well. Hi guys! Hi! Oh my god, I haven't seen you in 10 years! This is everyone so far. Yay! Oh my god, what is that? That looks cookies so good. And cream cookies. Yay! Thank you! I'll split with her. You Thank sure? you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I gained too much. Oh no. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. All right, we're ready to move. We're just waiting for Nancy. She's gonna go first. Dead. Okay, this is a cookie from Emma. It's taking prime seat. Okay, I'll just eat it at the same time.
We rolled down your window then. Oh, we put it on the wrong side. We put the balloons on the wrong side. I love it. Oh my God, we put the balloon <laughs> on the wrong side. Wait, remember to blow the thing. <laughs> There's Victoria. Oh my God. Is she crying? No, I don't think she is. We be wipe your windshield. Oh, sorry. Happy birthday, Victoria. Happy birthday, uh, Victoria. Well, we are all keeping appropriate distancing. Hey guys, okay, so we're home now, and to close off the night, um, Lucas and I both did a Chloe Ting workout, and we did her love handles one, and honestly, it was so good, but at the same time, it means it's so exhausting. And now, I am setting up for our bath. I recently cleaned the bathtub, um, so this is literally like the prime time to take a bath, because the bathtub is cleaned, and I scrubbed it. Um, also, sorry if my teeth look a little black, it's because we had some red wine. So I just want to show you the bath products that I use. The first one is the Dr. Teal's. I use their lavender sea salt and I also go in with the same Dr. Teal's and this is their foaming bath and this one is the shea butter and um, almond oil. So I will show you guys how I set this up. Ta-da! So that is the finished bath. Okay, we're gonna go take a bath now, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!